The more I use SketchUp for my woodworking designs, the more I find I'm able to reuse existing components and modify my existing designs to suit a new purpose. So in this video, I'm going to show you making a design change to a wardrobe design that I've already made. And rather than a polished tutorial, what I'm going to show you this time is really just a live walkthrough of how I work with modify an existing design. So I'm working on a design for an extension to what I call the bunk room. Now the bunk room features two berth style built-in beds, each of which has a curtain, a queen size bed, a little bedside table with some built-in phone chargers, nice big wardrobe with some drawers underneath for storage. And I'm going to build something similar in the room outside the bunk room, which is also sort of our TV room. I'm going to build some built-in shelves on the wall there, uh, some shelving around the television, and then a similar to the bunk, I'm going to have a little wardrobe here and a, a berth for a, a twin bed. But this morning I noticed that in my wife's wardrobe, she's struggling a bit for having some long hanging space. So I'm actually going to modify my existing design so that that wardrobe that's going to go here is actually a single tall one. And I'm going to walk you through how I modify my SketchUp design. So here you see my SketchUp design for that bunk room I just showed you. And here's the room outside it and my plan for what I plan to build out there. I've got some bookshelves along the wall, a little shelf for the television. I'm doing a smaller version of the built-in bunks for a, a twin bed. And what I did is I actually repurposed the design for one of these bunks when I, when I made the design over here. And I just want to show you how I work with components in SketchUp. Using components is really the key to being able to reuse designs and make modifications. And I want to show you how I do that. Because as I said in the video I just showed you, is I've decided that rather than including two drawers, which you see if I move this part out, what I have is drawers with the dovetails all drawn in SketchUp. Uh, rather than including those drawers, I've decided what we really need for my wife is, whoops, I deleted the whole face frame. I just deleted those two drawers. Um, I've used groups here as well. So that face frame is all these parts are grouped together. So if I double click, I can edit the group and then I can delete that part so that I've got, whoops, lost, so orient. Uh, so you can see the face frame modified. I'm gonna make a different door, so I'm gonna delete the door as well. Uh, I've already drawn the bar for the wardrobe and what was going to be a narrow wardrobe above with, with some drawers below, I'm going to do as a big tall wardrobe. So I'm going to pick this part, select, and just hit delete on the keyboard to make that go away. I want to modify this side wall of my wardrobe uh, to eliminate this dado that's no longer needed. So just click P on my keyboard to do a pull operation, E on the keyboard to erase these lines which are no longer needed. I use O to go into orient mode. I make a lot of use of hotkeys when I'm working in SketchUp. Right, so double click to edit this part. Again, P for a pull operation to eliminate that dado that's no longer needed for the shelf that's no longer gonna be there and there. Now my cabinet's a nice big tall wardrobe, which is what I think we need for the space for my wife. Now, now I need a door. Well, let's repurpose one of the existing doors from the wardrobe. I'm gonna take this Again, it's already grouped as a group. Use an M for a move operation. Hold the control key on my keyboard to make a copy and pull a copy of this door over here. Now, obviously, um, this door doesn't fit. So let's modify this door so that it does fit this space. But um, if I modify this door, like, let's just show you. Let's, let's say if I took this style and used to edit the style Use the pull operation to pull that up. It's going to modify all of them, the ones I, including the ones that I don't want modified. So, Control Z to undo that. The key to this is is you need to take a component that you have reused and say make unique, right? So when I edit this one, um, it will not affect the other copies. So now if I do a pull operation on this style, yeah, zoom in a little bit here. It doesn't affect all the other ones. So I'm going to pull that one up, pull this one up to the same height. I'm going to move this rail 
up, okay? And similarly, this panel I want to make unique. I've already done that, obviously. Um, I had a carving in the original panel, uh, which is represented by this little circle. And actually, I probably won't do that in the copy. And make sure I didn't alter the other ones. I did, so I have forgotten somehow to use Make Unique here. So let's back this up. What did I do wrong? Let's see what happens. Let's do the pull operation on this one. Oops. It is still affecting those others. Why is it still affecting those others? Let's undo that. I thought I had done Make Unique. I click that part. Hmm, why is it? Maybe it's because of the group I didn't make unique. Let's make the group unique and see if that does it. And actually maybe an easy thing to do is to explode the group. So not, I don't have the group anymore. Now they're just all individual components. Um, take this component, make unique. There we go. Now I should be able to delete that little circle. I don't want on this door. Good, and it didn't modify my other doors. That's what I'm after. Uh, all right, so let's see. There we go. Now we've got it. Make unique for that part. And actually what I want to do probably um, is I want to modify these two together. So let me undo that operation. No, yes. Okay, so, and I actually take both of these doors together and make unique. And that way I should be able to modify them together. So pull up or oh, edit the door, the style, pull to pull it up. Yeah. I did think this one would go with it, but they must not be copies. So let's again, make sure that this one is unique. It is edit it, P to pull, let's pull this style up as well. And again, make sure I'm not messing up my original wardrobe doors. I'm not, so that's good. Now I'm doing these all unique. M. So you see here the advantage of components, right? If you've worked with SketchUp, you may have struggled when you pull something that you're pulling things that are connected all together and you don't want to do that. The key is components. Um, I'll include a link in the card up above to an introductory SketchUp video I have out there, which shows you really how to work with making components. The, the example I use is a timber frame, but it would really apply for any woodworking project. Again, let's make sure that this panel is unique and I can pull it. Actually, looking at this tall door, I'm gonna make some other modifications. Um, it's tall and narrow, so I think I will probably wanna take this style, that's T for tape measure, I think it's probably two and a half inches wide, it is. I think I might make it, let's try two inches and see how that is. So let's take this style, edit it, pull operation, let's push it in half an inch and then you know, move it over. And I'm gonna move this one with it. And I'm probably gonna move this as well. Half an inch in the green direction. All right, so now let's see, do I like a two inch style? All right, so then what I wanna do is this one, let's check the T for tape measure. This one's also two and a half inches. Let's edit that and push that in half an inch. Notice I'm just typing half. You see it in the distance box. One slash two, enter. And I, oops, I did something wrong there. P to push pull, boom, go one slash two, enter. I moved it a half an inch. Let's now move this part over. And then I'm gonna to wanna to modify this part and pick all of the stuff over here. M to move it, move it over. It lines up. So we're getting closer to and I, I would say I like the two inch style on the narrow door. Um, this is what I like about designing in SketchUp is you can really see what you're getting and get the visual sense for how the balance of the piece is working. Right, so I've modified that. Uh, let me make sure that I've got that unique so I don't mess up any of my other doors. The move operation doesn't hurt the other doors, but the minute I start to stretch it, right now I want to modify it and make it more narrower. Double click to edit drag select to pick all the parts at the end because you can't really see it but there's a there's some detail of the tenon on the end and the groove on the panel so keep all those parts together by moving them as a box right um the other thing i'd say is i probably on a really tall door like this i probably want to center style so 
let's take this one, uh, modify M to move, hold the control key to make a copy, and I'm going to drag that. Do as these specific difference. Let's see what 24 inches looks like. 24. Um, looks not bad. Um, what I would say is I probably don't want a center um, rail to be quite so thick. This one is a how thick is this? T for tape measure. That's a five and a half inch thick rail. I think maybe three and a half inches enough. So I'm gonna again make unique because this will be different. Um, and I'm gonna Double click to edit, P to P to push pull. Oh, sorry, Pick this face, P to push pull. I'm going to push this up two inches to type enter. Um, I'm temporarily going to hide this panel. Right. There's one of the things that's missing from this piece now, and actually I can probably hide the rail and style or the two styles as well. Um, you'll notice on the top of this rail, I've got a, a groove for where the, the panel meets. I'm going to want something similar on the bottom as well. So let's edit this part. I can. L to draw a couple of lines and I think that groove on the top is probably three-eighths of an inch let me measure whoops oh, what happened there oh I just shrunk my window uh, tape measure yep three-eighths of an inch groove Oop, control Z I had P I didn't want it there all right so I'm gonna take that bottom edge with a pull operation push pull push that up three-eighths of an inch and then edit, unhide, all to unhide the rail and panel that I have. So my, my lower panel, again, make sure it's unique, it is. I wanna take that and alter the size so that it fits. Take this P to push pull, sorry, edit it, double click to edit, P to push pull. I'm gonna push it down till it's at the bottom edge of this part. Um, and then actually it's handy to see the back edges sometimes. So the K option will show your back edges. P to push pull, I can pull this face up. And I know I want to go up three eighths of an inch. So I'll type three slash eight, enter. And now if I see, you see that with, with the back edges shown, I can see that, that panel. And actually I want to leave some space. So I don't really want to go up three eighths of an inch. I want to go up a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to come back down an eighth of an inch to leave some room for the little expansion balls I use and panels, turn the back edges off again, get a little cleaner. And I can take this, take this, um, that was my GoPro turning off. I'm gonna take this panel and move it up. So go in the y direction. All right, so we'll move it. Ah, it's hard to move it because I can't grab what I want. All right, let's try it again. Uh, M, make a copy, go in the blue direction. Let's move it 24 inches up and then we'll figure it out after moving it. All right, so that's it. I have a nice tall door. Um, I might play with the dimensions of it a bit, like the balance of it visually. Like I think actually what I want to do is move this style up a little bit. Uh, maybe four inches up. And I made a copy I didn't mean to. I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm going to take this panel and make it unique because I'm gonna to have to get them positioned right. And this is a little tricky. M to move, let's move it down so I can see things. All right, I'm gonna turn on those back edges again so I can move this panel. Um, actually, what I wanna do, I think, is just move it up until it lines up with the edge of the groove and then move it up another quarter of an inch. So here we'll do that. M, move up until I hit that groove. And then I'm gonna move it up blue direction another quarter of an inch all right so there's that panel and now I can sort of do something similar I want to pull it P to push pull edit it first P to push pull move it up to the top edge here and now again move it another quarter of an inch into the groove right, so there's my upper panel done and the lower panel uh, which is already should already be unique it is edit to push pull pull it up until it lines up with the edge of the rail and then pull it again a quarter of an inch into the groove there you go that's my process of redesigning an existing design using components so now what was a wardrobe with two doors 
is now just a nice big tall wardrobe that my wife can use to hang her house coats and such. So I realized I went over all of that fairly quickly and didn't provide a lot of instructions. So if you have any questions about what you saw me do there, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section and I will get back to you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.